What is up YouTube box Owl here and welcome back to another low level class regression guide for Modern Warfare 2. This is the series where I showcase the best attachments for a weapon starting from level 1 all the way up to max level. And today we'll be going over the Lackman sub progression and the best possible class at the end. Let's get started. First as usual, let's begin with the field upgrades. I really enjoy using the munitions box and dead silence. Of course you get dead silence at level 51, which might be a problem. So if you don't have dead silence yet, then make sure to use the munitions box. Then for our perk package, we'll be using our own custom one with battle hardened, scavenger, fast hands and ghost. If you haven't unlocked ghost yet, then make sure to use phantom because it gives you ghost as the ultimate perk. But preferably if you do have it, then you want to make sure that you have scavenger, fast hands, Ghost and Battle Hardened. For our lethal, we'll be using a drill charge because, of course, it is just such a great lethal. If you don't like the drill charge, you could use the Semtex, but I really recommend the drill charge. That way, you can hit people through walls. If they're sitting there for a little bit too long, you'll be able to kill them pretty easily. Then, for our tactical, we'll be using Stim Charge, which you get at level 29. You could also use the decoy grenade if whatever weapon you want to use, you want to level it up quicker, but I really recommend Stim Charge. Then for our secondary, we'll be using the P890. You could use whatever you want in this, but just make sure that you get the P890 to at least level 4. That way you can unlock the SZ Mini Optic, which is very good and you'll be using that in many other builds if you haven't unlocked a more preferable optic yet. Lastly, what we all came here for, the Lackman Sub. This, in my opinion, is the second best SMG that there is in this game, right behind the cast off 74U. Let's see how to build this thing as we level up. First, as usual, you begin with nothing, and then at level 2, we get the first unlock, which would be an underbarrel attachment. For this attachment, I really recommend the FSS Sharkfin 90, because you unlock it quite quickly when you get the M4 at level 6. And truly, you don't really get any good grips as you actually unlock the Lackman sub, so I highly recommend unlocking the FSS Sharkfin by leveling the M4 to level 6, and then putting it right on the Lackman. Then at weapon level 3, you will start unlocking barrels, but we really don't like any of the barrels on the Lackman sub right now, so let's continue on until level 4, where you unlock the rear grip category, which means that now you can use the Lackman TCG10 grip, which you unlock by getting the Lackman 762 up to level 11, which you already did if you have the Lackman sub. This is a great rear grip because it gives us better recoil control, all at the cost of aiming stability, which we will fix later on. Lackman grip TCG 10 at level 4. Then at weapon level 5, all we get is the 50 round drum, which will hurt our stats way too much, so don't put that on. At level 6, we are able to unlock the optics. Now, this one is up to preference, but if you have gotten the P890 up to level 4, then you will have the SZ Mini, which I really highly recommend. It's probably the best sight that you're going to unlock at a low level. Otherwise, if you actually have a preferred optic, then put that on. I would highly recommend the SZ Mini if you're very low level and you just got it. Otherwise, if you've actually unlocked the cast off 74U up to level 10, then you get the reflex sight, which I also find very good. Otherwise, the Cronin Mini Red Dot is also very nice, but it does take a lot of effort by unlocking the FSS Hurricane and getting that up to level 3. Being that this is a guide for lower levels, I highly just recommend the SZ Mini, which you unlock by P890 level 4. Highly recommendable. Then at level 7, we will be unlocking the L38 Falcon 226mm barrel. This barrel is highly recommendable and I do think you should be using it at level 7. That is because it gives you better movement speed, it helps your inbound sight time, all at the cost of bullet velocity and recoil control, which at the ranges that you should be using the Lackman sub, they really should not be a problem. So at level 7, L38 Falcon 226 barrel. Then at level 11, if this is actually working for you, you should be using the Slimline Pro Optic. I really do think this is the cleanest that you're going to get but i am not able to actually unlock it for some reason you actually unlock it by getting the lackman sub up to level 11 so it's perfect but sadly i cannot show it here as i do not have it unlocked but i do highly recommend it at lackman sub level 11 at weapon level 12 we'll be getting the ability to unlock lasers for the lackman sub now for lasers i highly recommend that you use the one milliwatt quick fire laser that is because the better aim down sight speed is very useful and there's truly no con because anytime that an enemy is able to see this laser as you aim down sight they would usually be able to see you anyways the way to unlock this laser is by getting the lockwood 300 up to level 4 and if you don't want to actually level the lockwood then you just put on the fjx ultra beam xr flashlight which you 
you do get by getting the weapon up to level 12. But I highly do recommend the 1 milliwatt quickfire laser at Lackman Sub level 12. Then at level 13 for the Lackman Sub, you actually end up getting the 9mm hollow point ammo, which I don't really find that useful. So we skip that level and at level 14, you unlock the 40 round magazine. If you don't feel like 30 rounds is enough, which is what the gun comes with, then you want to replace the magazine for the 40 round magazine by sacrificing the FSS Shark Fin 90. Now I do feel like 30 rounds isn't more than enough, so I will not do this, but if 10 extra bullets are going to be helpful to you, then I highly recommend the 40 round magazine at level 14 for the Lackman sub. Now this is the ultimate Lackman sub build. This is the best build that you're going to get. The aim down sight speed for this weapon is extremely low, so this will feel great to use. But if you want to take it up just a notch, then at level 19 you get the weapon tuning. For the weapon tuning, I highly just recommend the undergrip to get up to full recoil stabilization here and I do quite enjoy having the optic just about halfway up to far here just around here this will actually make it so that the camera is just a little bit further away from the actual optic and you'll be able to see a little bit better and that's it that's a level 19 the best possible build that you're gonna get for the Lackman sub now go out there and use this Lackman sub build I hope you enjoyed and found it useful if you did then leave a like subscribe and I'll see you on the next one owl out